Hi everyone, The Simple Dad here. In this video, I'll show you how to use eSIM on your Galaxy S25 Ultra. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, no physical SIM card is required. Your Samsung S25 Ultra lets you add and manage eSIMs directly from settings. So let me show you how you can manage your eSIM on your Samsung S25 Ultra. Here we can go ahead and open up settings, scroll down to find connections, and then tap on SIM Manager, and then find the eSIM section. So here you can go ahead and add an eSIM so you can download an eSIM so you can connect to mobile networks without any physical SIM card. So this is extremely useful when you're flying abroad and you can basically buy eSIMs online for the country which you're visiting. That way you can basically get some data and basically use internet while you're abroad. So here you can go ahead and tap on the add eSIM. From here you can go ahead and transfer SIM from another phone, scan QR code. So if you bought a eSIM from online, you can go ahead and scan the QR code or you can search for eSIM. If I press home, I can go ahead and show you what SIM you can actually get. So eSIM, and then I usually use the welcome SIMs. So they're usually free. So here's an example. We can go ahead and open up a website called Aralo. Here you can go ahead and sign up and then they'll be able to give you free eSIM, which is sufficient for browsing when you're abroad. Go ahead and sign up for this and then get yourself a free eSIM. You need to go ahead and download the app. And once you download the app, then you'll be able to set up that eSIM onto your phone. So you can quickly switch between personal and work numbers or use local eSIM when traveling and no need to swap cards or carry any extra phones. So there you go guys, that is how to use eSIM on your Galaxy S25 Ultra. If you're new on the channel and you want to find out more about your iPhone, your Android phone, or any other social media apps, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel to become a part of the Simple Dad community. Hit the like button if you find this video useful.